rent bidding and uh, that fair trading have actually been out looking at rent bidding uh, from both a practical perspective and also from the advertising perspective of it. So, you know, the new rules, and I think just about everybody knows that the new rules banning solicited rent bidding and changing the way uh, agents can advertise rental properties uh, started in, I think it was the 17th of December last year. So, you know, a good six months ago now. So we've had this. Now, you know, there's been a lot of talk about it with the change of government. There's been a lot of talk about things are going to change. That appears that it's not happening from, you know, what the reports that are coming from Parliament at the moment. So... Uh, what we've got now is what's staying. So, so agents actually need to follow the rules to avoid being uh, fined by New South Wales Fair Trading and obviously damaging your own business's reputation. So an, a, one breach can result in an on-the-spot $550 fine for the agent or an $1,100 fine to the corporation. So it's not worth it. And uh, so you know the, the main rules here are only list a property with a fixed rental price. You cannot reference a price range in rental advertisements the way you can in a sales advertisement or use terms such as price on application, negotiable, contact the agent for a price or deposit taken. So again, quite different from the sales rules. So you need to be treating them quite separately. I heard a story this week about an agency that had been using the sales rules on all of their rental uh, properties and yeah, fair trading weren't happy when they walked in and actually saw all of that in that agency. Uh, an agent, the second main rule is that an agent must not solicit rental bids. So you cannot invite prospective tenants to pay more than the advertised rental price. You can, obviously you can accept a higher price if a uh, tenant, a prospective tenant offers that rental price but you cannot, if it is voluntarily given by that prospective tenant, you cannot suggest to tenants that perhaps you would like to make a higher offer. So really, really um, straightforward. We've talked about it a number of times already in Facebook Live. We've done newsletters on this topic. I think everybody knows about this. So what's happened in March and April of this year, so just a couple of months ago now, is that fair trading inspectors conducted 78 undercover inspections at open homes or rental properties, and they reviewed over 1,100 online rental advertisements. So they've had a really good look at what's going on out there, and the result of that was that 51 agents were found to have non-compliant advertisements. And the, the common breaches were that they had uh, statements in their ads such as contact agent, uh, instead of and instead of listing a um, fixed rental price, so they had used terms such as negotiable or price on application. Uh, they'd listed ads with price ranges, all the things that you're not allowed to do in terms of a rental property. Each of those 51 agents received a financial penalty. So they paid a fine. So you don't want to be going down that path. You don't, and some of those 51 agents had been uh, spoken to previously and warned by fair trading but had not changed their practices. So they were definitely given a fine on that. So, you know, that's not where you want to be. That's not part of being a successful business. So, um, you know, you need to make sure that, you know, the, the property management side of your business is running compliantly in line with those the, that legislation that came in six months ago.